My wristwatch is broken My shoes are untied Time is a ticking And so is the tide But I am not worrying Things are what they are Come rain or come shine Or a shooting star I've been to the south I've been to the north East and the west in the middle of course I may have been astray but I've never been lost Never been beat by the road I've crossed I guess I've been lucky to some degree For someone who ate all the fruit from the tree The stars been aligned and my goose hanging high I'll be okay in the sweet by and by I was born at morning on the first day of June Nineteen hundred and something and two My mom was a sweetheart, my father was too Left me a watch and an old pair of shoes I guess I've been lucky to some degree For someone who ate all the food from the tree the stars been aligned and my goose hanging high I'll be okay in the sweet by Hey guys, well Jack and I just got done uh, on a big hike and it was gorgeous, I mean absolutely beautiful. I got some drone footage of it and uh, it's just damn not more than four or five miles from where we live and uh, oh god. But yeah, it was a. I didn't bring my GoPro, unfortunately. I forgot it. All I had was my drone and the phone, and I don't know. I brought Bell with, and Bella went swimming. Didn't really film any of that because it was. Uh, the branches are way too low. Look at these people, they left the gate wide open. Huh. Well, anyway, um, not my problem, I guess. So now we're headed back. It's gonna be home in like 10 minutes and uh, rather not ever wonder where I am. So get back as fast as I can. It is a very, very hot day. I don't know what the temperature is. It's probably in the low 90s, high 80s. And uh, this weekend it's supposed to be, a, they say a heat index of about 111. Oh, as you can see, I'm sweating as just just on a little hike. I mean, it's beautiful and breezy out, but it's also very, very humid. And uh, this weekend is going to be insane. I don't know what we're going to do. If we're going to be able to hold out in the house. Amanda's got to work, you know. They shut some of these windows. Amanda's got to work Saturday. She's got tomorrow off. But uh, what sucks is that she's actually going to work in this weather, in this heat, in a cheese factory, which it's hell. It, I, I, I just feel absolutely terrible for her. I'm hoping they'll shut it down, but I highly, highly doubt they will. I don't know. It's a joke. So I don't know what we're doing Saturday. Or, uh, yeah, Saturday is supposed to be about the same as Friday. Uh, it's gonna be nuts. 
probably you can bet we're gonna be spending our day at a beach of some sort. Maybe go to Lake Michigan, I don't know. I was supposed to photograph a model tomorrow, but she backed out as usual. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do. We're just playing it by ear. I mean, it's gonna be... Oh, God, I, I, I don't think I've ever felt 105. So for a heat index of 111, I think that's gonna be a new record for me or Amanda or anybody. Well, Amanda's been in Florida, so. And I lived in California, but that was in February, or in winter. So I didn't feel extreme heat over there either. But this is gonna be uh, an interesting weekend to say the least. Well, this is what the day ended up being. Stuck indoors. It's just too freaking hot outside. Right now I'm gonna start cooking dinner. It's about 5.30. And um, I don't even want to turn the oven on. I mean, it is just, and it's gonna be a lot worse tomorrow and the next day. You, you open the door and it's like opening the oven door. I mean, but anyway. Yeah, not too much else has been going on. Been doing a lot of work in the shop. I uh, made some really cool mosquito slash hummingbirds. They look like hummingbirds, but they also look like mosquitoes. And, um, oh God, I'm working on a new uh, pipe wrench monster. I'm thinking I'm going to make a dragon. I don't know. I've got it in my head. I don't have it, you know, put together. I mean, I've got part of it put together. I gave it teeth and horns and yeah, so it's gonna turn out pretty cool. I'll show you guys when I get out there. But right now I'm gonna make some fried chicken and pizza bites if I can find them. Yeah, it's been kind of boring. I'll say that. It's, it's almost like it's winter again, <laughs> except the exact opposite. It's too you know when it's too cold you can't go outside and really enjoy yourself. When now it's too hot. Oh, excuse me. I am beat. <clears throat> I'm so tired. I haven't been sleeping well. I don't know. Just been a lot of my been stuck in my head for the last few days for some odd reason. I don't know. I've been thinking a lot about back home. Um, and I've been having a really hard time. Uh, getting models around here back home. I could get models no problem and Honestly, they paid the bills over here People are so freaking judgmental It is it blows my mind. It's like I throw an ad up I, just, I threw an ad up on Facebook looking for models You know I throw out my 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 price because I do What most photographers don't do I do underwater photo shoots and um, as soon as that ad went out, I must have had 10 or 15 people say that I was, I was uh, um, a sex trafficker or I was out to kidnap you or, um, you know, just weird shit like that. So I had to take my ad down. And it's been like that every time I put an ad out. It's been, you know, constant judging. And so then I use the um, modeling Facebook pages and I get all sorts of interest. I get girls that want to do it and they are constantly backing out. I just had this one girl said she was going to come up from Chicago to pose in a photo shoot. You know, it was a $300 photo shoot and I always require half up front. And she was just about to send me the money, and then she just stopped talking, and I haven't heard from her since. And that was yesterday. So, I don't know, maybe she dropped that, I have no idea. Uh, so it's been, it's been hard to get my name out there. So I've been doing, like, shoots for the, for the village, um... I did a lot of panoramic with the drone. I'm not getting paid for it. I'm getting, um, I'm getting trade. I guess you could say trade value. 
Um, I'm, I've been doing stuff for the water ski team, but again, not paid. Just, you know, wasting my gas essentially. Getting all these businesses, their beautiful photos. And here I sit, you know, broke as broke can be with no, uh, no gas to go and do any more of these shoots. And then so I'm trapped out in the uh, shed making metal objects to sell. And it's just been, you know, it, it's been stressful. It's been very stressful. Um, last week I made, I made like 200 hours doing my metal work, but now I'm out of horseshoes and if I buy the horseshoes I lose money I don't get a, a, a good profit you know my profit margin substantially diminishes and my um, I, all of a sudden people stopped giving me free steel I was you know I could throw an ad up on Facebook say I need horseshoes or I need this or I need that and people would just jump on it, you know, be like, yeah, dude, let's go, yeah, here, come get it, you know. And I'd make them something in return. And not now. Now what's going on? I got a message here. Be right back. It's funny, as I'm saying that, I get a message from this guy who found about five-gallon buckets full, or rounded up a five-gallon bucket full of old tools. And pieces of snowmobile clutch and coil spring. Not very good stuff, I can tell you that. Well, he's still talking. Be right back. So essentially, doing the photography thing is pretty much out of the question. I should go get my uh, drone license so I can get paid for this because I'm just seeing a lot of potential all over, <laughs> everywhere I go. All I gotta do is show them my panoramic photos and people are like, can you do my place? Sure, $500, you know. But, gotta get the license before you can charge. That's the rules. Fucking joke if you ask me. Uh, one, yeah, and as he had a lemonade stand now for three days in a row and it just went from up on top to her getting 40 50 60 dollars a day down to two dollars today she finally gave up on it she's like daddy i don't want to do this anymore and i'm like i don't blame you one bit that's fine let's shut it down give it uh, maybe fourth of july maybe we could find a place for her to set up her little sand over by where the parade's gonna be or whatever i think um or maybe if i get some stuff built I'll do a, uh, I'll go into the flea market, which is supposed to be the best time of the year to go to a flea market, and then I'll have her set up a stand next to me, and she can sell her lemonade, I think. I, I, I think that'll be, that'll be a lot of fun, but I'm, that means I'm going to have to be out in that freaking 200 degree shop, or oven, and busting my ass, and that also means I need to find some freaking horseshoes. This is ridiculous just remembered oh I forgot to water the plants oh man it is warm okay yeah I'll show you guys the garden I haven't shown you in a while it is oof stuff is wilting here look at that I definitely gotta water this look at that the beans are wilting I better get on it here the tomato plants are not doing well at all. Sucks. And is upset about that. Need a freaking hose. God. Oh, we got our tent. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Maybe I'll set it up tonight. But um, we got some ham. We got two hammock tents. One thing I will complain about. Is I assumed because of the tent you're gonna need rain protection that they would send you a um well a rain protector a, a tarp or something but nope they didn't they sent 
all they sent was the hammock and the hammock has a built-in um, uh, mosquito net but and then so I went online to see you know what the hell why didn't I get my my tarp to go with it here you gotta buy an extra 30 33 dollars extra to get the tarp what a joke I mean the tent itself or the hammock tent already cost me 35 and I bought two and so I gotta spend another what seventy dollars eighty dollars to um, to have rain protection freaking joke it pisses me off so I'm gonna try and actually I'm gonna set up tonight I think and uh, try and get my turp to work because they say it's the hammock is 12 feet and uh, if I was to buy the rain slip whatever they call it that's 12 foot tarp and I have a 12 foot tarp in the, in the um, garage so I'm just gonna see if I can set it up and go from there but yeah if that ain't a scam I don't know what it is that's a joke that they do that I can't believe that that's like just rude really Oh shit, there is my remote. Ugh. I got a shot collar on uh, Chester. Because he is all over Bella again. And then he's howling and crying throughout the night. That's probably why I haven't slept. Oh my god, it's kind of heavy. Whew. But at least her. Um, peppers are looking good. My peas are looking wonderful. I cannot wait to stand here and eat peas all day. I think I'll do this twice. more time okay guys so this is it this is the hammock tent I'm sure a bunch of you have seen them but have you actually seen them put up so that's what we're gonna do Are you gonna help yeah yeah it's pretty freaking easy let me tell you I can have it up in a boat Three minutes. Yeah. Time. Time me. There we go. Uh, I love you. Give me that. Gotta hurry. Time in. Be in time. Yeah. Ugh. So what you do? It. I don't even know if you guys can see me, but simply flip it through. You want to raise it, you want to get it about six feet up. I'm five foot eight, so that should do it right there. And it's got a bunch of these uh, holes in the strap itself. And I'll show you what those are for in a minute here. great about this is when you go camping well these are really um okay uh so these holes are to adjust your height in your tent slash hammer you want it about um the height of a chair off the ground just like that done i mean not done done but pretty close but anyway I was saying what's great about these is uh, that's it you know you don't have to do all that much of setup uh, the only thing I'd be concerned about is rain if you get a, a good wind and starts blowing rain in dude it, it's gonna fill up you're gonna be in and that's you know the only advantage a regular tent has 
over this is if it starts raining and you're in a tent, usually it'll go to one corner or another. You know, it won't just, you know, and you'll be on probably an air mattress or a mat of some kind. Whereas here, you're not. You're just, you're in there and the elements are going to join you whether you like it or not. So there's another part to it here, I'll show you. And uh, this I found by, um, they didn't tell you in directions how to do this. This is to elevate the uh, the bug, bug screen, which I could actually use right now. Bugs are just terrible right now. So, go like this, unravel. And these are about, you want to put about a foot higher than your strap itself. You want to tie a loop in one end. Two of these hoop loops that you run. This is the the time-consuming process. Not really, but kind of. Go break it! No break it! As they bring me the other zipper. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Should always keep one zipper close by, I guess. Yeah, yeah there we go. Oh. Okay, so now you're in here with me. And this is what we see. Oh, alone. You should bring those out alone. Isn't that cool? Got a little pocket right here, and a big pocket oh, where the actual tent goes in. Right, right there. But you can use it for a multitude of things, I'm sure. And then if you want, you can actually flip it upside down and just use it as a straight old hammock. We don't have this in your face. But yeah, very nice. It's very comfortable. Yeah. Oh, this is great, guys. My God. Got a nice breeze. It's warm. <laughs> Still very warm. Finally, the kids left. Oh, I went across the road to play, but my goodness, they get on, on my last nerve. <laughs> but yeah, I was just laying here thinking about, like, with the regular tent everything you've got to bring you've got to bring probably the two tarps you know and most people well including myself bring an air mattress and then there's the pump and then there's a sleeping bag and a pillow you know I mean all of that adds up quickly and I'm in this. I'm perfectly comfortable. I could probably fall asleep right now. <sighs> and I just might try. <laughs> now that I got a little peace and quiet. But, I mean, obviously I'm going to need a blanket. And I don't think I'll need a pillow. Because my head is elevated. The only problem I'm having is my feet are higher than my head. And I have big problem with that. I don't think I could sleep like that. I end up doing this. You know. And another thing is I usually sleep on my left side and you can't do that in here. You're sleeping on your back and that is all you're doing. You ain't moving. Because if you do, you know, you're going to be swinging for an hour easily. <laughs> 
So there's the good and the bad here. Um, I honestly can't say if I choose this over a regular tent, even considering everything that's required when you take a regular tent. And I'm, right now I'm just thinking about like weight and and mobility and all that because we're doing we're gonna do a weekend me and Ezzy of uh, ATV camping soon I don't know when but soon and um, you know like I said taking a regular tent with that would be we'd be just overwhelmed with all of our crap but I think just having I mean you guys saw the bag the bag is it's smaller than um, a glove for a uh, for like a softball glove it's, it's really small and this all fits into it except for the straps the straps don't fit the straps are separate which kind of blows and I'm still feeling a little ripped off that I didn't get a tarp which I was going to try and I probably still could except the only problem is I don't have any any rope or anything I don't think I'm gonna have to go look around. It's already 8.15 at night, so I don't think I'll play with it anymore today, but um, yeah, so I just wanted to share this with you guys and get your opinion. What do you think? Do you think that you would prefer this over a, um, just having problems with my, my stupid, um, what do you call that? My, this thing, bug screen or bug net. I don't like it in my face like that. Um, but yeah, do you guys think you would choose a hammock tent over a regular tent? And if so, why? Because right now I'm kind of torn here. I hate to get, you know, 50 miles from home or more. And then another 20 miles out into the backcountry on ATVs and find out that I can't sleep. When I know, in fact, I can sleep in a tent on a mattress. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, I think I'm going to leave it up overnight. Hopefully, we don't get any wind storms because it's going to make the trees flex and it might just, it could rip this in half. That's another thing. You're attached to a tree on both ends. And if the wind comes through, you're swinging with the tree. There ain't no way around it. With a tent? No, you're not. You're on the ground. Yeah, so there's... There's a lot of... Things to think about here. So, alright. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to call it quits for the night. And, um, yeah, I will catch up with you all on the next one. Thanks for watching. And now comes the fun part. I gotta put a loop on this. Uh -uh. I can't. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Okay. Uh, tent is not that hard to get out of.